Full automation is now available in EasyCam's turning modules, where we simply create tool paths based on your tool selection, where you no longer need to manually create curve boundaries or select any cut surfaces. Tool paths are generated automatically. You have not lost control. You can switch to manual at any time. Let's begin by establishing our stock boundaries and shifting the subspindle coordinate system to the back side of the part. You don't need a subspindle. You can flip the part manually and EasyCam will generate two separate G-code programs. We'll add operations, starting with a face profile work step. You can select the tool from EasyCam's library, create your own library, or just simply change the values of your tool on the fly. I want to begin directly over the OD at a zero engage angle by the clearance amount. Now based on the tool you've selected, EasyCam will give you the proper toolpath. No need to select curves or surfaces. We stop short of going into the bore. So let's say I want a machine to center. Go to your boundaries, switch over to manual, and your inner diameter would be zero. Let's take a rough pass across the OD. We'll leave a finish amount. We want to skip the groove, but let's take a look at what we get so far. EasyCam wants to take the maximum amount of material based on the insert geometry. This would be a great case for shallow grooves. Now I'll finish profile. I'll change tools and offsets. d preview and the different colors represent different tool numbers now for our grooves easycam automatically detects the grooves our step over is a percentage of the tool width Now let's say uh, I'm clamping the part on the back side and I don't want to hit the jaws. So we need to establish a boundary. If I go to three quarter view, I can snap to geometry using snap to all. Pick your boundary that gets copied to the clipboard. And this button here allows us to paste that value. Do the same for the turn. Now for our ID work, we'll start with a drill. Our depth is going to be zero. Let EasyCam determine the thickness of the part. Our first peck. And we'll turn constant surface feed off and assign an RPM. Units per rev, let's be a little bit more aggressive than that. Let's go to stock setup and set up three quarter view. We'll rough our bore.
leaving material change over to constant surface feed again finish profile I'll just use the same tool now we're ready for the sub spindle we'll swap out our world coordinate system to the sub spindle for the remaining work steps start with our face profile stopping at the bore machine our rough OD going to show you how to set your boundaries by selecting cut surfaces I'll do the same for the profile I'm going to use the same tool Now lastly, our groove. So now you've seen how EasyCam interacts with solid models in our turning products. This is truly an amazing breakthrough. Thank you for watching.